This is a TDA 7498E. The model is ZK1602. Today we're going to test this one. How much power we can pull through this amplifier with the load of 8 ohms, 6 ohms, and 4 ohms load. Some DIP switches here. Let's see what's the function of them. Okay, switch one is for gain, two is to turn off or on BTL mode switch 3 is for fan auto on manual <coughs> we have 4 filter capacitor sir 4 volt filter capacitor with 1000 UF at 63 volt So this is 15 to 35 volts power supply and the capacitor is rated at 63 volts this is really a very nice capacitor because it's rated at 63 volts usually manufacturer will chip out on the capacitor and will just just 50 volts on this one and they actually use a 63 volt caps on the on this board we also have a nice looking chunky inductor here this is a 6684 so this is a 0.68 microfarad capacitor the data sheet actually says this should be one microfarad but they chip out on this one we just choose a 0.68 also there is no subel compensation network for this one also there is a missing on the data sheet there is also a uh, 220 nanofarad capacitor connected from the output to the ground but it looks like it's missing on this board so the chip out on the output of the amplifier <coughs> I would have preferred if they just use 50 volts caps here and use the extra fans to use the proper value for this and install the 220 nanofarad capacitor that is missing <coughs> there's also a diode here I think this is a reverse protection diode reverse polarity protection diode okay on to the testing but before that I got this uh, nice DC DC converter here I hope I have the time to test this soon this is so this one is a 12 volts 12 volts input and uh, <coughs> the output is fixed at plus or minus 24 volts This one is a 12 volts to 
as a minus 32 volts output we have our TDA 7498E board here this our 36 volts power supply it's currently connected to our 8 ohms dummy load this is our ambient temperature room temperature first we're gonna test it with an 8 ohm load 8 ohms load and then 6 ohms and 4 ohms we're gonna, we're gonna measure its maximum output peak to peak before clipping <coughs> currently the output is 28.4 volts peak to peak you can see it here and the uh, fan is not even uh, spinning okay, so we're gonna increase the okay so that is clipping you can see the top of the sine wave uh, is already flat so we're just gonna back it a little bit so it forms a square wave, uh, not square, a uh, nice sine wave okay so that looks like the maximum peak to peak output before clipping So you can see there's some ringing at the top there. Okay, so this is um, maximum output peak to peak around 68, 68.8 volts peak to peak. <coughs> I'm just gonna record it here. Okay, so this uh, distortion we're at 3% so that's 3% so that's around uh, it's around 1.3% let's uh, see if you can lower if you can lower the distortion a little bit by lowering the output Okay, that's the minimum output voltage peak to peak with the least distortion that's 37.2 volts peak to peak and uh, the distortion at that we are at 0.1 percent so that's about 0.06 percent Now let's see what is the power output RMS 68.8 divide 2.828 square squared by by 8 so that's around uh, 74 watts RMS at 8 ohms load I'll be back after I switch the dummy load to the 6 ohms load 
So the 6 ohms dummy load is now connected. This is the yellow one here, the yellow resistor. <coughs> Same as before, we're gonna increase the output voltage and before clipping. That's <coughs> that's clipping. Okay, that is the maximum output voltage peak to peak <coughs> with our 6 ohms dummy load around 68, 66, 66.8 volts Point eight volts. Let me record that first. Okay, let's look at the numbers down here. One percent. So we are at the one percent range. That's about. One percent. That's point five. Looks like point five four. Okay, so let's compute the output power RMS. Sixty-six point eight volts. Sixty-six point eight divided two point eight two eight over squared. Divide six. So that's about ninety-three watts RMS. So <clears throat> this board here can do about ninety-three watts RMS at six ohms load. Now we're gonna proceed with the four ohms dummy load. Our four ohms dummy load is now connected. Okay, same as before, we're gonna increase the <coughs> voltage output peak to peak, output voltage peak to peak before clipping. Okay, that's clipping. Okay, that's about 63.6 volts peak to peak before clipping 63.6 yeah. let me record that one and now let's look at the distortion <coughs> so that's about uh, 0.72 percent see what is the output power RMS <coughs> 63.6 divide 2.828 square divide 4 So, 
it's about 126 watts RMS at 4 ohms load okay, so this is our results at 8 ohms loads it's 74 watts RMS at 6 ohms 93 watts RMS and at 4 ohms 126 watts RMS the output has actually increased a little bit to around 64 volts See the fan is spinning. The heat sink is not, is not hot at all. About the inductor. Inductor is not hot at all. So the power supply is pulling around 262 watts for an output of 126 watts. Let's see how much the difference is with 64 volts output. Compared to 63.6, 64, 2.828 Plus, squared, divided by 4 <coughs> So, at 64 volts, maximum output peak to peak, the difference is around 2 watts so with 64 volt output, it's doing 128 watts, but at 63.6, it's doing around 126 watts RMS.